Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamped, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the start of the reading. Um, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera, okay? So, um, yeah, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading to see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and, of course, vice versa as well. Okay, let's start. We're going to take this, I'm going to take these in, um, clarify them off camera as well, guys, and I will be back. So Virgo, thank you for your purchase. Let's continue your reading. Like I said, yeah, I'm not sure whether this you know, situation is as you think it is. Um... You kind of move into a place where we do have that seven of wands there, which talks about, you know, you being protective of yourself, a bit defensive. And that's only because, again, there's still these unanswered questions um, or at least still trying to process this situation for yourself. Trying to remain stable, feeling like, uh, feeling like... Feeling like you're losing this or you should lose this or let go of this because we do have that wild card which was about change of perspective. Um, seeing the bigger picture but not in the way that I would have hoped for you to see it if I'm honest with you because again, look, we've got the high priestess there which talks about this, you know, if you, if you believe in those twin flame type of um, connections, if you know, I don't, but um, and soulmate, um, deep spiritual connection that's what the high priestess kind of represents when it talks to uh, when it talks about relationships um they're not giving up they're not giving up though trying to communicate with you really trying to communicate with you their focus is on this new beginning it's like okay this has happened um you know this challenge has popped up uh, but i'm not going to give up on this i'm going to continue to try and make something work when it comes to, to, to me and my Virgo. And with that comes this communication, or at least them thinking about communicating. Um, we've got the high priestess again there, guys. You know, higher awareness, uh, connects deep spiritual connection. With, ah, we do have that queen. So there is this, there's going to be this level of understanding as to why you are reacting or responding the way you are. Um, doesn't say that they're going to agree with it or that they agree with it, but there is an understanding around why you would think what you're thinking. But with that comes, okay, uh, well, I'm still going to, I want to still come out on top when it comes to this. And when I say come out on top, meaning I'm going to, I want to come out on top and fix this. I want to get this back into how it should be, which is that three of pentacles, us being a team, you know, collaborating, coming together, being in a relationship ultimately. But you're not going to want to, again, there's still these unanswered questions for you with the Hermit card. You're going to be focusing on either work, you know, your coins, or actually working on getting the answers that you need. Go through that process. Um, what is a bit concerning for me is this Five of, of Cups here, which talks about the loss, lack of clarity. We've got the Moon card there got the ten of wands which talks about a burden and then we've got what you're wanting which is to establish something so you're going to get yourself into a bit of a tailspin internally working through this because it's like I'm not sure what to think I don't know what to feel I don't know what's real I don't know what's right I don't know what it's that type of thing Virgo and that's going to feel like a bit of a burden you're not sure whether you should let go of this person you know, you're going to be leaning towards that and that's not going to feel nice or good for you. Your person's going to be wanting to bring this back. Like really focus on bringing this back with the magician card there. At the same time being, 
you know, trapped emotionally because there is this acknowledgement of them having acted a certain way in which they shouldn't have done. I still don't feel like it's the extent to which it would be classified as cheating, but, you know, it's this, ah, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have done that, I've got to look at parts of myself that I, you know, or, let me pull one more on that. Yeah, that's more about, it's not more about what they've done, it's more about what they feel they can't have, or what they think they can't have, it's like the shadow cards coming up, how do I feel about that, I don't feel too good, in fact, it brings up some fears for me, this not working out meaning. In fact, it brings up some fears for me. I don't like that feeling. I don't like the thoughts. I don't like that. I don't want to face that. Hence, this trying to make this work. You know, they want that 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 King of Cups. You know, loyalty, reliability, stability. Yeah. Let's see. This is your energy oracle message. Love oracle message. So what's that? worth oh look at that look at that worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so take your time you're not going to get the answers you seek straight away but take your time take the time that you need in order for you to get those answers and there's nothing wrong with communicating that to them as well divine timing is at work in your love life yeah nothing before it's time guys nothing before it's time Woman holding a heart. Let's see. This is your oracle message. There we go. All right. Let's show you the depiction on this. All right. So, so this woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, so this card could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You are an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life. And you're bringing the awareness to all that you do. It could also indicate the pressure of a female friend. Sorry, the presence of a female friend, teacher or confidant. Who here, who's here to help with issues of love, family or emotion. This is an even tempered tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also be uh, also pertain a, a new love, interest, or friend coming your way. Hopefully, this is giving you some form of clarity, guys, and guidance. Uh, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye.